Back to the clock. And can we be affected by our thoughts? No, dear one. This is a way beyond this. <clears throat> that hand on the clock is steady and stable, and it has a certain velocity. It has al almost like the orbit of a planet. It has its own way of being. So we, in a sense, then we, we can. Have, you cannot change it with thought. No, but your image of a clock is getting me confused. I think because, as as I understand it, our universe is circling around the great central sun. That's part of it. Uh, and I was under the impression in reading that, that every um, 12,000 years in that cycle, it will pass through the photon belt. That it wasn't the photon belt that was moving, it's our universe that's moving. And your, your clock image is just confusing me. It's either that, or, or are there two cycles going on here? Is both the universe in a cycle around the great central sun and this photo, photon belt in a second cycle? Yes, and are these dear intersecting one. at some point? Yes, dear one. So we have two cycles going on here. It becomes very, very difficult to explain. <laughs> but there are two hands to the clock. <coughs> yes. I do not want you to feel that the photon belt is a stable thing in space that you are going to be going through. It is true, you are going to be going through it, but it is not stable. That is why I gave the analogy, analogy of the clock. The photon belt is not stable either. Could you expand what you mean by stable? And then clear certainly it, what you mean by that term. It is always moving. Everything okay. in space is always moving. It is totally, totally always moving. It has a cycle. And it has a cycle. Our universe has a cycle, mm -hmm. and they're intersecting every 12,000 years. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for, for your um, beautiful questions. Hi, Ashtar. This is Diane. Yes. And I have a slightly different slant question on this. Uh, being a three-dimensional person, <laughs> having the behind, excuse the term I'd like to save, <laughs> can, you, can you now move down to, uh, in terms of the Earth plane and us guys here, uh, should we be particularly concerned with our physical body, our physical survival, things we may have to do to prepare for the things that are going to happen in terms of change here? Are there things we need to know ahead of time? Yes, dear one. And those things have been channeled for the last hundred years or so, and they are continuing at this time, it is the preparation for ascension. There are channels who have brought through many, many words. And of course, there are many, many channels that have come through Cloverleaf. It is a personal preparation. It is an attitude. And it is the teachings of unconditional love. Uh, okay, so um, then we need not get mixed up with survival needs, i.e. packing food, uh, warm clothing, as, in, as we do in emergency storm situations. This is not a factor no, in it. No, not at all. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, 
on that vain ashtar since the preparation necessary is uh, along the spiritual will lines that we've all, we've been given as star seeds and affiliates um, can you give us some idea of what will happen to those who are bent on greed and selfishness those we know as the power brokers of this world what what kinds of things can are they going to be experiencing mayhem the whole of the countries in upset tremendous confusion now you have seen confusion already but the first wave of this energy has not even come through the first concentrated wave so you can see that there is much more to come in the uncontrolled emotional bodies around this planet if you can stay stable in all of the afflicted emotional drama which will be going on around you then you will be able to be a stabilizing source for many other people and beings for even the animal world will be <coughs> affected May I ask a question? Yes, dear one. Um, <coughs> the confusion you're speaking of at the present time, are you talking about the governments that, that are splitting and breaking up and the inner fighting in the various nations around the world? Yes. Thank you. But not only this, that of all of the for all that is of negativity that you see on the news it concerns me a great deal of the destruction of the rainforest in South America and Costa Rica and, and in certain other areas of the world um, how is that going to affect the photon though? Or would it? No. Okay. It will not. As far is the first wave on the photon belt the same as the first wave of the ascension? Yes, dear do? one. Okay. Yes. Commander Ashtar, I'd like to ask you a question. If this, uh, due to the photon, photon belt, there will be mass confusion. And will there be any nuclear war on our states? This is possible. It is very possible. Can you direct any direction where it will happen? It will be a worldwide confusion. concentrated, no doubt, in the Middle East. There is possibilities that it will not materialize, of course, since free will is involved and we are working overtime, dear ones, with the leaders of the nations. Commander Ashtar, I know this, I don't know whether this is a fair question or not, but is any direction that will precipitate Earth changes, such as gas explosions or whatever in the states, the United States, the East Coast, the West Coast, will there be any precipitation of that happening in the East Coast, specifically New York? There will be many different occurrences that are very unusual. Take, for example, the 
explosion in the sewer at Guadalajara. Very unprecedented. These things will be occurring in the cities. Not specifically that, but explosions, yes. Um, when, when it comes to the time when there are many fires around, this could happen, dear ones. The explosions will be massive and of um, harm to people. This, this will occur. Thank you. It seems as if it would at this point. Another thing, when there is a large explosion, such as, for example, could be a, a nuclear explosion, even a testing in one part of the Earth, then you will find an earthquake on the other end of the Earth. And this is so and has been for much time. Thank you. And so these large energies affect each other. They do this. Ashtar, I have a question um, in regard to there, there have, has been information released about differences in terms of whether the Earth goes into the photon belt before our Sun or whether our Sun goes into the photon belt concentration area before our Earth. Are these correct? And these are theories at this time. Uh, is there any concern with should we, we be at all concerned with our eyes? If this is a light source and everything will be light, will, will we be, will, will our eyes be adjusting to accommodate this? Or should, are we, should we be concerned about this? No, dear one. This will not be a physical manifestation of light. Although we are talking in terms of light, it is of a different sort than the sun, dear one. Thank you. That's what we want to know. People are using their logical third dimensional minds here. And I would assure you that there will be not this blinding explosion that you might think of. Mm -hmm. It is different. Thank you. It is different. Could I ask something then? Mm-hmm. From my third dimensional mind here, trying to make sense of things. What happens to plant life that's used to going in cycles of light and dark when we have essentially, it sounds like, 24-hour daytime? Will they continue to function? Will they the entire planet is changing from the third dimension to the fifth, and plant life will not be the same. It will not be as you know it. Yes. How long does this change take place? With the last wave of the um, ascension, it is immediate. We have now you see what, it, now you don't. We have a 200 year period where we're going through a photon belt? 2000? 2000. 2000. Okay. So we have 2000 years to change. No, dear one. Hmm. The change is immediate from the third dimension to the fifth at the end, at the end of this energy. I got lost somewhere. Oh, this is within the, uh, yes, correct. This, could you clarify this thing, okay? But this was within the 20 years between the 11 11 and 2012. This the photon time. belt occurs, we're going to hit it when? And for how long? And at what you point does the You have been within it. Place? You've been within the edges of it for the past 100 years. 